Hello everybody, my name's Stupid Ninja, and today I have a video about something that was highly requested. This is Mini Transformers 5 Megatron. And this is Megatron from The Last Night, um, in his jet mode, which I think looks really nice. Um, he is one of my favorite designs for Megatron, other than the first movie, which I just really liked. Um, but yeah, here he is in his jet mode, and I think it came out very well. Has some space issues back there, but I don't really mind. These two pieces are different because those are the shoulders. That's pretty much his jet mode. Not really much to talk about, other than that it's it's pretty sturdy. Um, he's one of my more sturdier Transformers, and probably one of my favorite Transformers currently. And here's a sword. I'll show that later. But uh, yeah, this chip mode is really, really nice. I, I really like how it came out. It's very uh, sleek, very solid. He has a really good transformation. Um, so yeah, I'll just set him aside and then we can get into comparisons. So first of all, here he is compared to my most recent jet, which is Nitro Zeus. And as you see here, I have no idea if this is screen accurate or not. I don't really think it is, but uh, yeah, I guess. That's that. Here he is with my oldest jet, Starscream. Um, yeah, it's not much to talk about, I guess. He he looks pretty good with Starscream. I think they scale pretty well, even though I think Megatron's supposed to be slightly larger. And just for fun, here he is with the Voyager last night Megatron. So you can see, kind of some design details there that I tried to capture like these intakes here it was important to get those but yeah there's that finally before I transform this guy here's just a quick look at his sword it's just pretty simple kind of gappy um, but it was the best design I could think of for his sword uh, because he's a very specific looking sword and I didn't want to get it wrong and I think this actually looks very good. It's not as flat as I would like it, but other than that, I think it's a pretty good sword. It has his hand on it, of course, because I'm really bad at incorporating hands. But that doesn't matter, because it kind of makes it uh, a little bit better. Because you can store it on his jet mode, just anywhere where there's an exposed stud, or anti-stud. But anyway, um, let's get into transformation. So, first thing you're going to want to do is just come to the bottom here and just swivel this piece out like that and then you bring the foot down turn this entire section and then just fold the flap down behind the leg and then what you can do is just move the leg down turn it to kind of move this skirt piece out of the way turn it so it's forward and then you can take his arm extend it and then, of course, the shoulder pad's going to pop up. Then you're just going to swivel that upward and then get this straight. Then you can twist his shoulder pad around. And there you have one half of Megatron. Uh, so you can just do the other side. So just flip this piece around again. Fold the foot down. Swivel this piece. Fold that in. Um, and then you're going to move the skirt piece out of the way. Kind of pull this down a bit. Rotate the leg, push it down, extend the arm. This one doesn't have the same kind of shoulder pad because he's uh, asymmetrical. But anyway, then you're going to push his arms up. Uh, now you can take this piece. There's a bit of parts forming, but it's okay because it's just a weapon. Um, this piece, this entire thing just folds back. You can just leave this on there. And it does look okay. It just kind of pokes out like that. Um, and then build a separate weapon for him, but I decided to do it this way because I like the storage of it. But, anyway, there is last night Megatron in his robot mode. And honestly, I think this is my best Transformer so far. I think he just came out so well in both modes. I think my two best Transformers, in my opinion, are probably Ironhide and this guy. They're just my favorites. Um, I really like their transformations. And this guy's so simple. He's just very easy to build, very simple. Doesn't require very many pieces. He's 
very small, so you can, I guess, transport him around, I, I guess. But mainly, I just really like how simple he is. He's not very complicated. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess for articulation, his arms do move all around. He has uh, bend at the elbow, his head turns, of course. No waist, anything, but his legs do move out and they go forward. Let me get move this out of the way. They, they only go forward about that much because of the skirt piece and how it's built, but they do go back very far. And then he bends at the knee quite a bit and has some ankle pivot, and that piece pops off. But if you if you tilt this piece up all the way, then he gets more ankle pivot. Um, so it can go in that far, but I like having it down right here. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much his robot mode. I just think it looks really nice. Um, not very much uh, of a backpack. It's a very small backpack. He does have some, I guess, jet kibble on his feet. Those are just the boosters, and they do help him stand up very well. So he stands extremely well, and he's very sturdy uh, with his standing, I guess you could say. And you can get pretty good poses with this guy. But uh, before I do that, I can show you his sword. And that just plugs in right there. And there you have Megatron wielding his sword. And I tried to make it light enough to where you can move his arm all around and still have it up, which I succeeded in doing. And so that's how the sword looks with Megatron. And I think it looks very good. I really, really quite like how it came out. That's that's basically his uh, robot mode. Um, came out very well. Again, I really like it. He is probably one of my favorite Transformers that I've built so far, and I think one of the best. And he's just he just looks cool. It kind of looks like a Gundam. Um, looks a lot like Megatron, and so I really like him. Uh, but anyway, getting along with it. Let's get into the comparisons, and then I will show you how to build this guy. First of all, here is Megatron compared to a minifigure. So he's obviously way, way taller than a minifigure. So there's that. Secondly, here he is compared to Barricade, since they were in the same scene. Barricade seems a little bit short, but I don't really care about that. Thirdly, here he is compared to my Transformers 5, The Last Night Optimus Prime, which seems kind of underwhelming next to this Megatron. To be honest. So there's that. Here is Megatron compared to Nitro Zeus from the last night. And so I think this looks okay. And lastly, here he is compared to Starscream. G1 Starscream. So there is that. Um, so that's about it for this guy's robot mode. Um, now I will show you how to build him. And hopefully it goes well. Okay, so here I have broken this guy down into a few core pieces, and I guess you can just find the pieces as I build them. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So, starting off with this bit, which is the main body of the build, it is comprised of, I can get this apart, um, a 1x1 one one stud, or 1x1 one one brick with studs on both sides a 1x1 uh, one one brick with a hole in it that just sits on a 1x2 next to a Travis brick and so this all goes together like so then you have this great piece, I don't exactly know what this is called and this just goes on like that and then this piece just goes on right there and then you take your missile piece that goes on right there creates the neck and then this piece just creates the head, and that's just a one by one with a uh, G slope on it. And so that all just goes together nicely. And then this attaches to this piece, which is the back piece. That's a two by three um, with a one by four on the back, and then two one by one bricks with studs on the sides. And that just goes on like that. Um, and then you can build the chest piece, which is very simple. It's just a couple of these pieces with some reverse one by two Technic pieces with some one by two plates on there. And then this is a one by three with a couple details there just to make his chest look better. Some gold cheese slopes and then some gray one by one tiles. That all goes right on the front right there. And this slides back like that. Um, and then you can build the back piece. So this is the back piece. Very simple. Again, just a 1x3 modified piece with 
hinge on it. Don't know what these are actually called, that's what I just call them. One by two clip, a couple more of those, a brick there, a one by three there, a stud there, cylinder piece there, a stud there, and then two G slopes on each side. And that will just go right there. So it should be able to fold down flatly and then fold onto his head like so. Then to build the rest of the cone, you have another one of these hinge pieces, a one by one clip, if I can get that, there we go, one by one clip, a um, couple orange cheese slopes, and then another orange, or another gray cheese slope with one by three. And that all just goes on right there. And then you can build the arms. So these are very simple. Uh, just a hinge piece with some details there for the arm that doesn't have a gun on it. And then a uh, one by 2 curved piece for the spiked shoulder that he has on the left side. And this just, when you get it all lined up correctly, this just folds around. Then his arm folds in. And it slots in right here. And then you just rotate it down. And it fits into place like that. And you can angle it back a little bit just to make sure it fits where the leg is going to go. So that is how the arm works. Um, now you can build the second arm. It's basically the same thing, just with a couple different pieces uh, to show that he has two different shoulders. And then this will hold the gun on it. And so this just goes in the same spot on the other side. If I can get it in there. Here we go. And that rotates down as well and pops into place. So there are the arms all done and now you can build the legs so here is the inside of the leg just one of these new pieces with a gray um, hinge joint there and then what connects to this is one of these which is the build for the foot so this is just a cylinder on top of a one by one tile with a 1x2 clip there and then a G slope for the toe. Then you have another 1x1, one one, and that's just for the uh, piece to rotate on. I'll show you that later. And then, of course, you have the 1x3 hinge, and this all just goes on right there. Then, the piece I was talking about earlier is this one. It uses one of these fin pieces, and that just goes on a 2x2 two two with a 1x2 there. Now, I'll go right like this. And it should look like that. Then for the top of the leg, you just have um, just a couple of these pieces with a 1x2 there, and then empty space there for one of these. That goes right there. And this just creates the knee pad. And then you have the plate right there. And all of this just transforms. So just transform that. Just goes like this, and then you rotate that, push this piece out, and then this all just snaps in right there, like that. And then this skirt piece just folds up right there, and there you have one side of Megatron. And now the other side is exactly the same. Of course, you gotta transform it, so that's just like this. Um, of course, you can do this without taking everything apart. That pops in right there. Everything should fit together nicely. So, there you have Megatron back in his uh, vehicle mode and uh, with instructions, I guess. Now for the sword, it's a little bit weird. You got one of these little one by two pieces with the hole there, then a little clip piece there, another clip piece, one by four in gray, um, another one of these pieces with some teeth on there the blade and then another set of smaller teeth just to make it look like how his sword looks in the movie and there you have your completed mini lego the last night megatron so again i really really like how this guy came out i think he's one of my best transformers so far and i uh, hope you do too so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video um actually if you want to see more videos like this just click there for a playlist and then you can subscribe by clicking there somewhere so yeah thanks for watching